Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on the Revo Point Morocco. In this video, we're going to see how easy it is to scan an object, export it, and 3D print it. That sounds good? Let's get to it. I'm Dustin, this is Innovation Creations. So in this video, what I'm wanting to scan is this 3D CAD mouse. Um, so it's kind of shiny. The, the black is shiny and there's some chrome around it. So what I'm actually going to do is there's this 3D scanning spray. Um, and you can get this from Revo Point. What it does is it makes a, a powder white on your product. And then after about four hours, it evaporates. So we're going to go ahead and spray it. So I don't know if you can see that. It's just a nice little light dusting. Try to get where my fingerprints are here. So turn this on. I actually scan it or spray it again. Sorry. That's where I touched it. I'm going to set up the scanner here and see what we can get with this coating on there. Okay, so I'm screen recording here and you can see that now you can really see that object right there in the middle. Before, it wasn't coming up really at all. So I'm going to start scanning this here. One mistake I did make that you can see there is I sprayed the scanning spray while it was on the platform and that's making it pick it up in the image. So I should not have done that. Okay, we're going to pause it. I'm going to turn it on its side. Hopefully it'll pick back up on it. Okay. You can see the object there. We got a couple, you know, the bases showing there. I should have turned the bases off. We're going to see what that looks like. Okay. Go ahead and hit the model. So I'm going to hit one tap editing. This is the new software. So this is kind of a new feature where I ask if you would just want to do a fast edit or a detailed edit. I'm going to go ahead and do detailed. It says about four minutes. Okay. So there's the model. Another new feature of this software is when I do this lasso and I start outlining in the top left hand corner, you can see it's zooming in for me so I can get more detailed. Well, 
really like that feature. It zooms in and allows you to get a lot closer to your model. Go back. A little overlap detection. mesh. I want to fill some holes. Okay, so that looks a lot better. So it's a little thick there on the bottom. That's because there was a hole in the model itself. So in the future, if you see there's a hole in the, the point cloud, um, just rescan that area and it'll, it'll fix that. And then you won't have that, that area there that's thicker. But for this demonstration, uh, we can work with that and I'll show you what I'll do here in the slicer later. So now we'll save this and get it over to the computer. So yeah, guys, I'm running, you can see in the top corner there, version 1.0.2.176. A couple things that I've noticed already is that when I went to hit the one tap editing, it asked me if I wanted fast or detailed. Uh, that's a really nice feature. If you just want something quick, do the fast. Um, I've been doing the detail most of the time. Um, and then that, uh, the delete, the rectangular or the lasso feature um, really zooms in in that left hand corner lets you get really close to your model. Before it was kind of tough because your finger would cover where you were um, drawing so you couldn't see that. But now that extra window over there, that's a, that's a game changer. So let's get this in the computer and see what we have here. I wanted to show you guys that after the spray dries, after a few hours, here's what the part looks like. There's no residue or anything on the part after it evaporates. So once you have the file finished, you can go up in the top right hand corner and you can choose either to connect to your PC by Wi-Fi or USB cable. So if you wanna use Wi-Fi, what you do is you open up RevoScan on your computer and choose the Wi-Fi connection there and it'll give you a code to put in here and then it will connect by Wi-Fi. I'm going to choose USB cable and then I will hook up the USB cable here and show you on the computer what it looks like. So once you plug the cable in you can see it gives you two options either data transfer or use the Morocco in PC mode. If you choose PC mode that's going to allow you to see the Morocco screen in RevoScan on your computer. Um, from there you can do a scan while you're using uh, the software on the computer. All I want to do is transfer files, so I'm just going to use data transfer and hit OK. And then now on my computer you will see that it opens up just to like a, a USB flash drive. So once you plug in your Morocco, you can see it pops up here like a thumb drive. And it has the internal storage. So you can click through here. You could, you know, if you do screen recordings, you can do that here. And if you want to go through your projects, here's all your projects. We'll get back to this here. If you go in data, here's the poly files. You could take those and edit them if you want. Um, here's a snapshot of what your project looks like. We'll go back to the projects here. And we're going to open this here so it pulls into our RevoScan software on our computer. So this is reading directly off the Morocco. So I want to import this guy. Okay. 
So now I want to close this. And I want to double click on this. And it brings up the model. Now, you can also do some more editing here. Um, going through all of these here. Uh, I might make a video on this later, just going through all the software. Uh, RoboScan. But as of right now, we're just trying to, you know, print this as quickly and easily as possible. So you can see there's a little bit, there was a hole in the model. So when it filled it in, it kind of made that bubble, but that's fine. We can, we can deal with that with the way I'm, I'm going to print this. So we're just going to go up here to export in the mesh model. And I'm going to say this is STL just in my documents right now. Okay, so now I want to open up my slicer. And go find that file. And here we go. So you see how it imported um, at an angle here. So when you scan, you don't really have the coordinates. Um, but something to note is that your first scan, when you first start, is going to be the orientation. So if you want to try and help out the orientation, um, as far as working with it in CAD um, or any anything like uh, Mesh Mixer or Blender or anything like that, um, start your scan at a face that you could use as a coordinate so that'll that'll help out a lot um, like on this one the perfect angle would have been straight on the bottom I don't know what, how I would have got that to stand on its head but um, or I could take a straight shot from the top and that would have helped but we can work with this here um, what I'm going to do uh, so the way I'm gonna get rid of this bump here is I'm gonna just pick one of these I usually pick the largest one here. That gets me pretty close. And then I'm gonna choose this and kind of rotate this just a little bit. Okay. And then I'm gonna bring this down. What you'll see is from the bottom You'll see this because you can you can cut this and it'll only print anything above the plate so if I just take this and let's just cut off that gasket on the bottom altogether Change the color of that. Go ahead and slice it. Okay, I'm gonna send it to the printer. Now let's get a time lapse of this. Okay, we'll check out the end result. I'm just going to take a measurement comparison here, but really you should take the measurement from the point cloud um, compared to the actual product because measuring the 3D printed part, there's a lot of fluctuation in the uh, process of the 3D print itself. Not too bad. 0.08 difference in measurement. Just for reference, post it note. It's thicker than that. Yeah, guys, I hope you like this. Uh, please like and subscribe down below. Um, there's a link to Revel Point's website also down below. Go check out their scanners. Thanks for joining, guys.